Hey guys, look folk here and welcome to another FIFA 21 Prime Icon Moments player review. And in this video, guys, we're going to be reviewing the 90 rated Zam Brata, the third Icon Moments video for today. I've already reviewed the other two SBCs that have also been released today in Claude Makalele and in Ian Wright as well. And we do finish with this Zam Brata card, who looks basically just the best right back in the game. I think we can all agree on that. Uh, four games played with him, zero goals scored and zero assists, four star uh, Skill moves and five star weak foot, which unfortunately is it's almost wasted as a fullback having the five star weak foot, isn't it? I suppose, but um, I suppose maybe not so much if you were to use him in a five back formation as like a right wing back or whatever. I suppose, but uh, but anyway, uh, getting into his in game stats, some superb stats 93 uh, stand tackle, 90 reactions, uh, 91 crossing. Uh, 96 shot power as well, which is pretty awesome. It did also have the anchor chems that apply to him. Uh, player traits of outside foot shot and dives into tackles and then icon profile. Uh, this talks about um, Zambrotto joining AC Milan in the summer of 2008 and he scored his first goal for the club against Lazio, uh, a 30-yard screamer. Um, and I'm guessing he probably went on to, to win in that game. Of course, play for some other clubs like Barcelona, Juventus, uh, Barry as well. The team that's in Italy, I think they're in like the second or third division now of Italian football. Um, but yeah, this Ambrotta card was good. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't really get as many. Ha I mean, I, I don't want to play the full five games with the icons because I want to always have one game left with them to, to use in friendlies. If I ever just want to make like a full icon team or whatever at some point and just go into some random, random friendly games, then I can do that. And obviously, if I were to play one more game, then I wouldn't be able to ever use him again so I played four games with them and uh, and he just I'm not saying he he was a bad card I just didn't get quite as many highlights as uh as what I got with the other players that I used um and I don't think that's down to to anything that was his fault it's just you know fullbacks what do they do you know it's um out of all the outfield positions they're probably the least important you know your, your center backs your center halves are obviously extremely important your midfields is obviously very important for starting off attacks and being able to bring balance to the team. And then your forwards are obviously very important for scoring goals. And listen, I'm not saying fullbacks aren't important. Of course they're important. But um, in terms of outfield positions, they are the least important, I suppose, in, in, you know, in a way. And that's kind of why this card, as good as he looks, and if you wanted to, you could easily use him as a centre-back or even use him as a right midfield if you wanted to in-game. I think as a fullback, of course, it's kind of harder to review them and kind of harder to get highlights with them. But um, but even just based on being able to use him, like, you know, and how he feels on the ball, like his pace is superb. He is rapid. Uh, you know, even like running with the ball, not just um, being able to catch up to opposition players, actually using him on the ball and running with him. He's rapid. You know, he, he, he is so quick. And that one acceleration, which goes to 96. His sprint speed goes to 97. Um, so, so, so pace-wise, he can easily keep up with opposition attackers quite easily. No problem can catch up to them. I thought his tackling as well was really good. Made plenty of well-timed tackles for me. 93 stand tackle, which goes... To 99, as does his slide tackles. Interceptions go to 95. Heading accuracy into the mid 80s. Defensive awareness goes up to 93. His, his defensive play for a fullback was again solid. And, and I don't know what his height is. Five foot eleven. So you you could use him as a centre back. He would be on the shorter side of five foot eleven. At the same time, um, that might not be too bad because, as I said before, you know his heading accuracy goes up to, into the mid 80s and his jumping with the anchor cancel goes to 91. So although he'd only be five foot eleven, he'd have really, really good jumping and reasonable heading accuracy, uh, which would be good obviously for, for aerial challenges and stuff like that, or, or relatively good for aerial challenges. Yeah, you can use him as a centre back if you if you're thinking of playing in there. I, I would completely understand that. Uh, but I think he was like a full back, you know, maybe using him as like a wing back and a five back formation. I think that could really help with like his attacking uh, traits that he does have. You know, having that 96 shot power and 93 long shots, he could probably bang quite a few good long shots on the edge of the box with this card. I thought his passing again really nice, 87 in both short passing and long passing, 82 vision, superb curve and crossing as well. Uh, lacks in free kick accuracy a little bit, but obviously that doesn't matter too much for full back. But um, but on the whole, he, he was just a really good card to be able to use. I don't think his physicality was quite as good as what the card makes out to be. He's got 89 um, aggression and 86 strength. His aggression uh, goes up to 94 and his strength goes to 96 with that, that anchor camera start. And by no means is he weak or anything like that. He, he certainly isn't, but he's not as strong as how you would feel 96 strength is. It didn't feel like quite that good in game, but uh, I liked him. I think he's very expensive though, of course. He's coming at around about a similar price to Claude Makalele, and if someone was to ask me the question, who would you rather do out of the two of them? Um, I would personally rather do Claude Makalele. I think he probably just offers on the whole a little bit more to the team uh, as a fantastic uh, all-round midfielder. Um, and I'm not saying Zambros is bad because I don't think he is. I, I, do, I just think he's 
really expensive. I, I think he, uh, I, I don't know how much his car goes from the market, but to be quite honest, even if he just went and got his prime car, which I think is like half a million coins, which is one racing lower, I honestly don't think you'd notice that much of a difference between the two cards. I really, I think his prime car would still be insane in this game. Um, but don't get me wrong, I like him. Uh, it's just that I personally think the other two cards are on the whole better value for money. I know Makaleli is the same price as Zambrotta, but I think you get better value for money out of going with him than, than Zambrotta. I like him as a fullback, and if you've got millions of coins in your club, then by all means go for him, because he is just superb. But at the same time, um, I would probably focus on spending your coins in other areas on the team, rather than just going and putting it all on Zambrotta, for example. But anyway, guys, that will finish off this player review. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.